Okay, folks, I'm back. Um, so I got, I re, had to reset, reposition the dial indicator for a backlash adjustment. And um, when I when I check, even w starting from zero lash, once I got that uh, carrier bearing preload, uh, it was again about. Fifteen thousandths. It was just, just past the uh, twelve thousandth spec. Um, so, what I did was, I I loosened this and I went one notch back. But you got to loosen. You know, you can't just loosen. Stay. There. You got to loosen and go back in because you always want to be. Uh, or stop while you're tightening on this. So I backed it out, you know, where it's spun freely and it went in. I marked here, I marked, you know, because it, it was at this hole when it was too uh, too tight or with the excessive backlash. So I came back and stopped it at this hole and I'm got <clears throat> my dial indicator and uh it's now at ten thousandths um and i'll attempt to show you here see and then i heard it and you can hear the backlash so right at ten thousandths nine thousandths uh so i'm happy with that um so from here a lock tight and retorque the cap bolts okay and then i'll run a pattern uh to make sure um my contact patch is is good and everything jives but uh that concludes this uh segment on the importance and the effect that your ring gear or or your carrier bearing preload has on your backlash. And essentially, you're going to play with that to get uh, to dial in your backlash. You just can't do a backlash and then do this, uh, the carrier preload. Um, so, uh, thanks for watching. I hope this information is helpful. Thanks.